Functionalism and Consciousness Functionalism explains processes by looking for the functional cause of a given process. A functionalist view of consciousness holds that there is a causal relationship between different mental states of consciousness. Someone who is aware of pain is not only perceptually aware of the sensation of pain but also about the rational label of what that pain means to him. Hence, from a functionalist perspective, the human faculty of being able to have higher order thinking must have a definite advantage. Higher order thinking adds a well-defined narrative to the perceptual experience of pain. The nature of this narrative can produce a constructive or destructive disposition toward one's own position. An important task of a coach or therapist is to help the client develop a different narrative regarding a past perception. Becoming aware of the quality of the rational component in consciousness can lead to a transformation of the meaning of the perception of pain, and consequently, a different disposition toward the story of being wounded. Another aspect of a functionalistic account of consciousness may be that in the tangle of perceptions and impressions of the ever-changing circumstances of life, man tries to create some level of unity in its mental consciousness. Men needs to organize physical stimuli and experiences as a strategy to cope with the inherent contingency of existence. This explanation is a functionalistic account that points to the evolutionary advantage of higher order thinking. In this order, the minimum requirement is, that the subject is able to refer to itself, and is able to demonstrate a concept of self, as being the entity that one is apart from everything else. At the same time, it is important to understand that being aware of oneself and the way one consciously experiences life, requires that one is able to rationally grasp the mental states one experiences in clear concepts that refer to those mental states. This is a clear argument why we do not ascribe higher order forms of consciousness to non-human animals. Being able to put into words what a reflective or higher order of consciousness makes accessible, seems to be a necessary precondition for being able to act intentionally. As we have seen before, the capacity to direct consciousness intentionally, is a prerequisite for having a conscious state. Congruent rational accounts of the content of a mental state also enables humans to put experiences in a historic narrative. Since memory can store our dispositional accounts of past experiences, it is not necessary to actually be in that particular mental state, at the time that we reflect rationally on that mental state. We can become aware of being angry with another, without actually being in an angry state at that specific moment. So you can become aware of a hidden hostile mental state without that state being actual. The system of the fourth way tells us that we need to remember ourselves in order to transform the experience of life. In reflection of what has been said before, when we try to remember ourselves, we try to take a third-person perspective to a past emotional account. It is not uncommon, that in the moment that a subject remembers himself, he becomes aware of a completely different rational narrative of that past account, which enables him to release himself of the emotional mental grip, that past account has on his present experience of life. The work promotes self-remembering as a way to detach oneself from the daily delusions that invokes mechanical behavior in which we have no say or control over the course of our actions. A free man is a man that is not identified with the passions of life, all as a direct result of remembering himself. <laughs>